Yo guys, I'm sorry, you already know this video. We're back playing some more Pokemon Violet Indigo Disc DLC. Uh, this has been my life for the past, like, 20 minutes or so. Uh, the internet said that grinding Pokemon, or a good way, and good fast way to grind Pokemon is to just beat up Chansey. And I, after a couple minutes of searching, I found, like, a mass breakout of Chansey. And, uh, I've just been, like, you know, hunting down Chansey to extinction for the last, like, 20 minutes or so. Uh, and as you can see... It has yielded some pretty good results, as my Scrafty is level, like, 86. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think I still have the Choice Band on Scrafty, so I'm just, like, one-shotting everything. And I haven't, like, been missing any of my moves. Uh, mostly meaning the, the high jump kicks. So, like, my other Pokemon are also getting up to level, like, 80 plus. Uh, this has just been my life for a while. And, um, I guess that's just gonna be the solution, is to just sort of do this for uh, a little bit, and then... Hopefully then, I guess I'll just go back to Amorous. I was I was going to pivot away and do something else, but I mean, if my Pokemon are going to get leveled high enough to where they can just win that fight, then I guess I don't have to worry about it. But once you're strong enough to win that fight, I mean, I should be strong enough to win other fights too, I would think. But I don't know for sure. Uh, Lantern's starting to get pretty close to the point where it could maybe soon be relevant. Um, Ogre Pond's falling a little bit behind because Lantern's want the Lucky Egg, so it's growing a little bit faster. But I mean, I mean, 62? Still not, not a bad shout. Uh, you know, I have a, I have a, a quest for auto battle stuff, so anything that's not chancy. Uh, I, I did, I did notice, um, you get way less experience for auto battling than you do for battle battling. So that's something. Where are you going? Where are you going? Get back here. Well, that didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does. Um, uh, oops. That's not what I meant to do. I didn't see this dealing here. Uh, but yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna go right back to, um, to Amorous with my overpower team now. And hopefully, finally now, I will be strong enough to win. I don't know. <laughs> um, I actually might fight some trainers before I, I, I bother, uh, doing that. But as long as there are Chansey that are around, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna beat a couple, uh, more up. And then there's a trainer right down here that I'm gonna fight. Uh, and then... Uh, there's a trainer uh, back by the raid that I was did last episode. I would not mind fighting that. Don't you dare run away. Some of these chances you run away, some of these run towards me. And uh, they're not very consistent. Um, but I'm almost out of crunches. But I, I have um, I have ethers and stuff like that. I have so many of them that I barely ever use them. Classic like level 82. So yeah, this is, this is going to be the way to... Uh, Improve my team, I guess, from that one. That's going to make it harder to make adjustments to my team in the future. N not to say that I won't do that, but... Yeah. Uh, this <laughs> this is kind of probably going to be the main team. I can see Meowstic getting replaced. Uh, I don't know if Lantern is going to be a long-term option or not. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I need to see what level you are. But we're going to find out. Also, it's funny that if they run away and then you throw a Pokeball at them, it counts as them being off guard. Uh, so I've definitely completed one or two uh, quests that were like sneak up on a, on a Pokemon. If you chase after it while it's running away, that counts as sneak up, sneaking up on it, I guess. Uh, but all right, yeah, there's all these um, uh, Chansey around. I'm just going to put Exodrill. I'm going to have Exodrill Zipstrika as, as my as my, uh, leading to... Well, let me just use, uh... I got this, got this ether Or crunch. Just in case I need it. I, I might, I might still beat up some of these Chansey. It said that, that, uh, the amount of, of Chansey... Oh, wait, is this not a fight? Oh, it's not a fight. Uh, it said the, the, um... I must have already fought him. That the amount of Chansey were, like, slowly getting lower. Um, actually, I wonder if, uh, a Pokemon not named Scrafty can also just, like, one-shot these things. Because at this point, Scrafty's gonna get to, like, level 100. <clears throat> but yeah, this is, this has just been my life. Uh, and it's, it is very effective. I'm, I'm curious. There we go, okay. So I could be doing the same thing with Exodrill here. I don't know if I need to. But I really want to be safe 
because I, I would like to go take on uh, Ambrose one more time. I don't know why I'm so set on that being the first one. I mean, that could end up being like the hardest one. All the other ones could be pushovers. I have no idea. I just know that my team right now is slightly better set up to go against steel types than it is against any other uh, types. But yeah, there's so many Chansey around here. This is crazy. Thank you. All right, this is going to be the last one. Um, also, apparently, I, I guess I can go to the... Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll go check it out because I didn't actually go look. But in the school store or, or something like that, I think I can buy rare candies with BP. Uh, I don't know how much BP it is, but it is something that I would like to look at just so we can discover it uh, for ourselves. So is that right here? Yeah, okay. So right... All right, so if we go to the entrance... um. I think we can go right to the school store, I assume. I don't really want to be wasting BP because I do want to save up for uh, the ones that's going to have more Pokemon show up. But it's at least worth checking out. The cafeteria, you can buy meals that also I think can in increase like the amount of experience that you get from fights and stuff. But I don't really do... Uh, nope. I don't really do much uh, with like meals and all that stuff. So let me just see. What, what do we have? Can we buy BP? All right. What do, what do you have? Okay, so max revive for 60 BP. That's actually really good. That's actually kind of dangerous. And you can just buy experienced candy. And then rare candies are 100 BP. So it's not a lot. Oh, okay. And then you have um the things that you need to evolve certain Pokemon. They're like all here. That's uh really nice. But okay. So 100 BP is pretty, pretty steep. But that is an option. But I like my, I like my, my, as if I completely, uh, came up with it myself. You have yellow text, would you, whatever's mightiest? The mightiest mark someday. Can you show me one? I don't think so. Okay, I don't know, I don't know what you're looking for, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I, I like my chancy method. I, I say mine as if I definitely came up with that method myself and didn't just see it online. Uh, I'm going to go back to where that raid was on the last episode because there's a trainer there. So let's see our new and improved team. I think I still put, yeah, I still put the, uh, I put a little destination thing there. Because, there, yeah, there's a trainer there. I want to fight them. And then I, I guess I'll go back to Amherst and just see if the multiple levels that I've gained is enough yet. So, where are you at? Right over here. So it was that one, I think. Oh, wait, was it not that one? Well, that's... That's silly of me. I really thought it was that one. Oh, well. Where is the trainer off this direction? Maybe it's you. No, I've already fought you. But I think I see another trainer in the distance, so maybe you're up to no good? Alright, whatever. I'm gonna pretend that this is the trainer that I was looking for all along. I really don't want to do my homework, so I end up coming here to the terrarium. Yeah, that sounds like something I would do. Ain't nobody trying to do some homework. Michael, what do you have? A shield on and a vibrava? Okay. Well, well, well. We will real run you. And vibrava's part ground type, so that's unfortunate. I guess I'll just thrash. And of course, you went for shield on. Why wouldn't you? All right, we got the big threat out of the way. Shield on was definitely gonna do a whole lot of damage there. Boom burst. Ow. I will. You... Oh, I guess you're a ground dragon, right? So I guess, I guess that does work. That's why I wanted the thrash to go. And there we go. I'm sorry. Oh, you do levitate. I thought there was a reason that I couldn't hit you with the... Uh, with ground moves. Alright, I'll just rock slide. And I'll send out... You know what? Go, Lantern, go. Oh, I should look and see if Lantern has... Uh, any moves that I can... I can give it. That's Hydro Pump, but I... I would like a, a more reliable move. It has Discharge as well. I, ooh, wait, can I make a Thunderbolt TM? 
I already made the one. I don't know if I can make another one. I might not have the materials for it. I have to I have to make a TM for a quest anyway. So I'm gonna go to the central plaza and heal my Pokemon, make a TM, and then I think I'll just try and fight Amorous again. Hopefully my extra levels will help me like outspeed some for Pokemon. That's the main thing I need, is I just need to be able to outspeed because I can't take hits as well as I would like. So if I can just deal more damage and deal it faster, that would be really nice. Alright, let me let me make a TM. Uh sort of by number sort of by power. There we go. Uh I think what I would like. Super Hell Slam, that's gotta be a physical move. Yeah. You know it is craftable. I'll play there's surf, but I don't have the resources. Unfortunately. And then Thunderbolt, I don't quite have the resources. That is very sad. Um, okay. Well, 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 well. Uh well let me just craft what uh what's up here? What's Meteor Beam? Oh interesting. That uh oh that's a two turn attack. I don't think any of these I'm going to teach right away. But let's do Oh, energy ball. Uh let's craft it. Why not? Oh, I already have one in, in my bag. Is there a craftable one here that I don't have? Not really. Alright, whatever. I will just, uh... Foul play, I guess. <laughs> Even though I already have one of those. I just want to make it for the, uh, thing. And I was worried about the Super Soul Slam and- oops. I was worried about the Super Soul Slam if it, uh, shares any materials with the... Thunderbolt. Um... I wonder if there's anywhere that I could just buy Thunderbolt. Because I kind of forgot that discharge is not the way to go here let me look at you maybe there's something i can do with the moves uh if i can change moves what do we have what do we have spark your impulse electro ball electro ball might have to be the the way here i don't know if i want to get hmm discharge really works if i'm on the field with uh, what's his face? Exedrill. Chilling Water is, like, also not very good. Uh, I know lowering attack stat could be good. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep Discharge just for now. But I might want to replace it with something else. What TMs do I have? Uh, what if I sort this by... Oh, I can't sort this by power? That sucks. Hmm. Sort by name. Any of these stand out? Blizzard, I guess. Brick Break. Mm. Close Combat would be nice. Why don't I just put Close Combat on? Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use my one on that. Dazzling Gleam on Lantern could be something. Uh, you can... Scrappy can learn Dragon Pulse? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Nothing can learn any of these fire moves. Except for, yeah, flame charge. That's whatever. Obviously, Ogre Pond can learn the grass moves. That doesn't matter. Nothing for leech life. Uh, oh, <laughs> Scrappy can learn metronome. Muddy water. Hold on here. Now we're talking. Akron's only 85, but... Mm, I mean, then I why not just hydro pump? Never mind. Oh, scald though. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. Okay, because I don't always trust hydro pump's accuracy. Ooh, we might. Oh, I do have increased speed. This charge is good though. So thunder wave, so scald. You know what? Screw it. It's fine. I don't think I'm ever going to get to 
have a good electric move. Oh, Volt Switch. All right, if uh, if Electro Ball ends up not being the play, then there's there's Volt Switch. Okay. My team, I have the Focus Sash. I have the Zip Striker there. Let's let's try to fight Amos one more time. And if not, then I I think I pivot to somebody else. But I feel like I understand. And I have prepared for this fight so much now. But now that my Scrafty is like 10 levels higher, are you telling me that like it can't just sweep through like it was doing before? I don't know. Let's let's go find out. I have more revives. I have a decent amount of healing items. Turn one was fine. Let's do it. Come on, please. This has to be the one. This isn't the one. I'm going to cry. Hmm. Are you going to ask me about Kieran? Is that what you're going to do? I can see the future. So I know that's what you're going to do. And you're going to do it all dramatic like. I'm going to say he's my pal. And you're going to be like, really? Mm, I need to win for whatever. You know what? I stopped paying attention to you like the last three times that you said whatever you said. Yeah, you want to be the one to help him? I want to be the one to help him. It has to be me. I've probably given you so much money for losing to you. Which is so annoying, but here we go. I don't know why I'm obsessed with having to have this one be the one that I uh, do, but also I don't think Zip Striker should have been the one to start. I already messed up. Yeah, I already, I already messed up, but who knows? Yeah. That was my bad. I should have even get taken down to the Focus Ash. <gasps> oh man, I could have just given the Focus Ash to uh, Zip Striker then. Dang. Okay, okay. Well. And extra little speed fell. Okay. I need to use the Stealth Rock. Man, I messed up the start of the fight. I messed up the start of the fight. Wait, reset, reset. Seriously. Um, I don't outspeed that. Okay, let me try this. Let me try this. I think here's what I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna try and bring this back. I think if I revive. Oh, I don't need to be sorted by name. Sorted by favorites, I guess. If I revive the striker, and then I outspeed. Uh, I'll just psychic you. If Miyase can just outspeed, which I don't know if he can. What well, doesn't even need outspeed? It just needs to live and then kill uh, Doug Trio. Okay, there we go. Because now... There we go. Alright, so the, the speed threat is gone. Or should be. And this would actually be great if you killed Miasta here. Hmm, but you're weak. Okay, so I'm going to send in Zip Striker. I don't think Skarmory can hurt Zip Striker that much, so I think the play now would be to battle Thunderbolt and Polion. We're going to sort of by name, newest first, favorites first, sort of by type. Okay, I think this is how I usually have it. A max potion you. And then once Scrafty can come in, if Scrafty can come in without Skarmory being there, or Zip Strike can just outspeed, I should be able to one shot Skarmory at this point. That's ridiculous. Okay, that does two shot. Okay, okay. But Zip Strike outspeeds. So now might be the time. 
Okay, okay. You're telling me that a choice effects Thunderbolt is not going to kill Skarmory right now? I'm going to... High jump kick. You? Or you? Go for you. Oh my gosh. Oh, you have a sturdy. Okay. Okay, then you kill this of Striker. Hmm, okay. Wait, no. I outspeed. I outspeed Skarmory. So this should be okay. Oh, but you're going to Whirlwind. Interesting. That's basically just going to have me lose my Moxie. Although, actually, hold on. I think, I think that's amazing because I'm pretty sure I'm still Choice Banded. So... That means I can now change my, my move. How fast is Lantern? I don't think Lantern's very fast. But I think Skarmory can kill it? Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna... Crunch Skarmory. Do I need to revive anything? I don't know if I do. I'm just gonna put both of them on, on Skarmory, I think. Oh, that was actually a good play. And then if just one of them can outspeed. Lantern outspeeds! Huge. That's huge. And then Crunch is not gonna go through. Okay, that's fine. Oh, right, you have the Scissor as well. I forgot about that. Alright, so I'm gonna Crunch Reuniclus then. I think we revive... Oh, I can max... I have a max revive. I think we max revive... Excadrill. Yeah. I'm gonna max revive Excadrill. Okay, and then we'll see what happens. Ooh, Trailblaze. I was just about to say, Lantern has pretty good uh, tight matchups to everything that he could possibly do. But... Then he pulled that out and ruined that. Dude, if Ogre Pond actually... If Ogre Pond could l live long enough... Ooh, Trick Room. Hold on. Ogre Pond might be slow enough, just because of its like lower level, to attack first. If I can get a fire move off on Scizor, that would be really hype. Let me try it. Let me try it. If this doesn't work, then... Mm, I'm not at the point where I'm about to lose yet. But here, I, I Crunch Reuniclus, and then I Ivy Cudgel Scizor. Just live the Psychic, please. Oh, yes! Okay, Reuniclus is at least dead. Can I attack before Scizor? Can I do it? Bad luck can also play a role in battle. Yep, maybe yep. Come on, please. And we get the Moxie. No! Ah, it's alright. It should be fine. So now you're gonna send out the Metagross. Oh, I didn't... Oh, no, I had the... There's rocks on the field. I was going to say, the focus session get used. I still have that intact, but... No, that's not going to be the play. So, I think I'm locked into Crunch now. On Scrafty. Uh, but I know that you're going to... Trash for lives, so I'm going to do the same thing. And drill run the Metagross as well. And then once it's down to a 2v1, I mean, we got this. Come on. You shouldn't have anything to one-shot either of my Pokemon, I don't think. I think Scrafty goes first. 
because Scrafty's so slow, even at level 80, whatever, 87, 88, whatever it is. These two shouldn't have anything to attack Exodra with. Let's see, let's see. Okay, there's the crunch. Oh, that that does good uh, good damage. Okay, then you brick break. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Thankfully, I didn't kill somehow. Okay. Scrappy's out, but I think that's fine, actually. Then there's the drill run. And now it's just a 1v1 between Exodrill and Scizor. If I've counted right, she shouldn't have any more Pokemon. I can I can try to revive somebody just to be safe. Uh, which I think I will. I don't know who I revive though. Ogrepan is the only one with like a fire move that can actually like do damage. Uh, I already know he can one shot Lantern. Uh, I don't think he can one shot Scrafty though. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna revive Scrafty. All right, and what are what are you gonna do? You are going to Trailblaze. Wow, that does so much. Okay. Your speed keeps rising. All right, so I'm going to high jump kick you. And then I'm going to prepare for Exodro to die by reviving. See, one shot Zip Striker. Is Zip Striker a safe revive? I think Aerial Ace one shots Ogre Pond. I think Trailblaze one, Trailblaze one shots Lantern. Mm, Meowstic. Yes, it might actually be okay. Might die to a bug move, but I think I can get a screen off before that happens. Okay. That's the one I wanted you to attack. Now I actually just cannot miss this high jump kick. I shouldn't have even brought that possibility up, but... <laughs> okay, so... Oh wait, so the Twisted Dimensions are normal. So wait, do I not just outspeed him with both now? Either way, he can't... He can't kill both in one turn. So, I think I... High jump kick and then reflect? Or do I heal Scrafty in case he misses high jump kick? I think I want to do that. I'm not sure if Scrafty outspeeds in this sense. I think the bullet punch messed up my idea of who goes first. Ooh, okay. Alright, alright, we're fine. Look at that. Oh, gosh. That still took a level 87 Scrafty. Or, I'm sorry, a level 89 Scrafty to, to, to get this done. That's insane. Oh, gosh. Alright. I am not enough, I see. I think I'm going to go towards Fire 1 next. I think a Lantern Exodrill starting to could put in some work. You know, Lantern's still a little underleveled, but maybe I can find some trainers and, and stuff along the way. Strength of one's Pokemon uh, reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. Uh, you got that right. I don't care about your feelings. <laughs> How frustrating. All right, then. Time for photo. We must ensure that your victory here is properly commemorated. Yay! I'll give you this TM2. It contains a favorite move of mine. Hard press. Uh, the target is crushed with an arm, a claw, or the like to inflict damage. The more HP the target has left, the greater the move's power. Interesting. I'll have to look at that, see how much, you know, what, like, base power it is and all that. It is up to you to help Kieran, so I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. So long. We done did it. Somehow. It only took like three episodes and like four or five attempts. But finally, it has been done. Yo, champ of the making. That's one Elite Four member beat. Things are looking good for you. Amra sure leaves an impression, huh? Uh, it's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. 
thing about Amaris is, as rigid, as rigid as she looks, she's got a sense that it's freaking mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from the outside. This might be the one we need to shake things up in the Elite Club. That's it for me. Good luck with the remaining Elite 3. Okay, I will. Like I said, I think we're going towards Firefight next. I think that's going to be our play. Uh, let me look at what hard press is, though. I'm, I am curious. Uh, let me just sort it by newest. Oh, okay. It doesn't show up in newest, except for it's way down here. Interesting. Uh, oh, it doesn't have a base power. It just, it depends. So I, and nothing can learn it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you know what? I was kind of thinking, do I actually have, can I sort, I can't sort by type. That sucks. I was like, do I have any steel moves. I should have looked at this when I was looking through before, because I know there's a fairy type that I need to go against. I was like, if there's any steel TMs that I could teach to Exedrill, that would be really nice, but I think hard press is like the only one, and then iron defense, that doesn't count. And then metal claw, I mean, base, you know, power of 50 is like not really all that strong at this point in the game. Okay, so I don't really have any thing there i just saw the toxic spikes nope nothing can learn that and all right so i'm not entirely sure what i'm be what i'll be doing about the the fairy and dragon ones but we're just going to focus on the fire and that is going to be what we do so i'm just going to go back to the central plaza uh and then i will make a route towards the fireman and hopefully we'll find some trainers along the way uh or pokemon to grind up against or something uh, to make Lantern just a little bit stronger before we actually reach that point. But that is the plan, and we'll see how that goes. I'm not expecting to win, but if I can at least get information to then try and build a a game plan around beating him, that is going to be uh, what I hope to do. So, uh, that is going to do that. Let me see what I have. Did you put my nice washing? I don't even know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. Uh, okay, well, gosh, I'm actually already starting to get tired of, like, doing these missions. I'm just like, eh, I kind of want to just, like, play the game. I I feel like a lot of these are going to be something that I do off screen because they're already not as exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and head out of here, and uh, I will see you on the next time. So hopefully you're enjoying look forward more. So let me know. I'll see you on the next time. Until then, peace out.